Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, though Wanna know if I can hear it from behind, though I'm sipping on you like some fun wine, though When it's over Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Today's video is a hair tutorial on this look It's my favorite thing to do with my hair since I cut it all off which doesn't really seem like I cut that much off, but I cut six inches off, which was a lot and a big deal for me because I was glued to having long hair for the past, like, six years? Yeah. Or almost seven, actually. For the past, like, seven years, I have been stuck to having long hair, and I was determined to grow my hair down to my butt. And it stopped after it hit the bottom of my boobs. It just broke off because it died. But yeah, I cut it all off. And this is my favorite hairstyle. If you want to know how I do this, then keep on watching. Okay, so once I brush my hair out, I did just cut all my hair off pretty much a few weeks ago, so it's very short, but I got curly hair, so this is me brush, I brushed it out right after I showered and then put it up in a bun, so ow, it is kind of poofy, but I take my straightener, all my stuff is already heated up, but what I have to do before I curl it is I take the straightener and go through like all of the roots around my face because they get little like you know like the little pigtails that like curl at the bottom that's what my little hairs do and it's so annoying and like the underneath here is really curly but yeah every time I curl my hair I have to straighten these little pieces I don't straighten it all the way down though because I don't want to like ruin the, what will happen with the curls because I need like the fresh hair for the curls that is good enough so once I'm done straightening those little pieces I part my hair pretty much in half and I just clip it with my little clip thing what is that I'll brush it out just so I don't have any knots and I use the Revlon wand I take about an inch worth of hair each time I put it around and I hold it for about three to five seconds and then I let go my hair curls really easily so I can't hold it for very long because I don't want like spiral curls I want like the wavy kind of curls and then I'll pull on it when I'm done just to stretch it out because it does since my hair does curl fast it will end up in spirals no matter like how long I hold it so I'll take it and then I'll pull on it and then it leaves a nice little curl Big Hair Rocks Mega Volume Super Firm Hairspray. And since it is like super firm, it literally turned your hair into like cement. So I'm going to be very careful and spray that. And I'm going to leave them how they are until the very end. And then I run my fingers through all of the hair to separate it a bit more and give it the more beachy waves look. love my hair this length. I honestly was so terrified to cut it because I've been growing my hair since grade six and it only ever made it to like here. So, and it was so dead. So I was just like, the one day I was done. Like I hadn't done my hair for like a month. And so I was like, you know what? It's time to like get rid of it. So I cut six, six ish, six ish inches off my hair. And I thought I was going to regret it the moment I did it. And I don't even ever really know if I want to go back to long hair now because this is just wonderful. I'm going to take another section now. For my hair, 
I use tea spray because my hair doesn't tease at all. Like it's so soft that it just kind of like ends up like this by the end of the day. Like if I poofed it up like here, it would last for like maybe an hour. So if I use teasing spray, it stays better, but I don't like pulling apart my curls in order to tease it. So I tease my hair before I curl the top part. So I just take little sections, I spray the tea spray on it, and then I go down. Having some crazy hair. I will brush the parts by my face out because they hurt. And they get dried like that. Okay. So I'm not gonna like brush it out any more than just smoothing those little pieces out on top. Ow! See, this is what happens. And I'm going to part my hair again forwards. And on this side, I just do this entire top chunk as one section because I don't want like big, like lots of little curls, so I do it in big chunks. Forever, and my hair was so dead to the point where like it didn't grow anymore because every time I'd straighten over the ends, the ends would just break off, and so it would just stay. If it growed, if it grew out, it would just break off like the next day. Like, oh, like uh, bleh. I can't talk. It just break off, and then I gave up, so I cut it all off and out. So healthy, but for this side, it's so much thicker. So I take this chunk in a little clip, I pin it, and then I curl this under part because it is so thick. This whole under section here is about the same thickness as the whole side on this one. It's crazy. <laughs> I love how I said I'm just gonna use a little bit and literally my hair is like cement right now. But my hair honestly doesn't hold anything like even hairspray, like if I brush my fingers through it like a few times, it feels like nothing's there anymore. But I do have curly hair like naturally, so when I do this to my hair, I can sleep on it and literally have like the most, like, what are they, I don't even know what kind of sleep that's called, when you like move around a lot in your sleep, like I could toss and turn all night and I'd wake up with my hair looking like this. Maybe a little more of a rat's nest, but it would still have the curl. So it's so nice for when I curl my hair like today and then I work tomorrow like early in the morning so I can literally wake up, comb it out just a little bit on the top so it's not like a frizz bomb and go to work. <laughs> so nice. And I never understood how like, like I get the fact that when people are like, they have naturally curly hair, like it is annoying sometimes, especially when you just want it to be straight, like you don't have to deal with the heat and like all that stuff. But it's like, I love having curly hair because like, if I don't want to do it, it looks like I did it a bit because it is curly. But like, I always hear people like, people with curly hair are like, I wish I had straight hair, and then people with straight hair are like, I wish I had curly hair. And it's like, but a lot of the time I find that like, people with straight hair, the curls don't stay in their hair at all. But like, I can straighten my hair, so I can have curly and straight hair. So what I do is I run my fingers through it, and you can see how like all the curls are pretty loose now. It's pretty cute. There is a rat's nest in the back of my head, okay. Yeah, I just think that like everyone should just be happy with the hair they have because I love my hair. I love having curl. I love being able to, sh I can straighten it pretty well. I mean, it doesn't go pin straight, but like, it's good enough. And it works for me. I like doing this my hair better anyways. And then once I do that, I'm going to take the hairspray again and just very lightly. I'm gonna try my best to go lightly, not cement. <laughs> I sprayed myself in the face. Oh, I just cemented my makeup on for the next year. Like, geez. This stuff is intense. And yeah. This is how I do my hair pretty much every day now that I cut it because I actually like doing my hair. Which is weird because I hadn't done my hair for like at least a month since when it was long because it was just so annoying. Like, it was dead. I just always wore it in this big, messy bun on top of my head. I just not cute so this is what i do now and i love it 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, you can subscribe for more videos because I will be trying to do um, a few more and I do have a few uh, fitness videos coming up. I have another makeup video which is this makeup look actually because I'm filming it before I do my hair. Yeah. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below or you can email me at my email will be inserted here. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.